this is a 51-year-old uh, female presented with right side hearing loss and dizziness. Uh, there is a T1 hyperintense lesion right here in the cerebral pointing angle extending along the right side cranial nerve 7 and 8. Uh, it's difficult to see on the post contrast fat suppressed images because it's, I think this is fat signal show up as pure white, pure black on the post contrast without contrast enhancement. Uh, you can kind of faintly see it follow my cursor from here, follow along the along the cranial nerves and one of the uh, white dot is a vein or or the anterior uh, or ICA or anterior inferior cerebral artery is hard to tell but but following this uh, vessel into the uh, not into yet but getting near the surface of the internal auditory canal uh, basically this lesion is consistent with lipoma that uh, that could be symptomatic we don't have any uh, other uh, good sequence to show this lesion except the T1 um, literature review show that uh, cerebral pointing uh, angle lipoma is like that this time of this patient is a, have a larger lipoma causing more uh, more compression this is an, uh, this is another case we recommend a CT uh, to see that area just to verify that's fat and, it, and there's an additional lesion let's talk about the lipoma first uh, so they, they are you can read the um, description basically they could cause a symptom of related to cranial nerve 8 involvement, hearing loss, tinnitus, vertigo, and nausea. So anyway, uh, you, can, you can observe it but, and tr uh, tr medical treatment, but uh, if the symptom is too bad, uh, you can uh, uh, do surgery. And you can read this article, it's pretty good. Um, in addition, I see another lesion uh, here in the cavernous sinus, this area about uh, nine millimeter diameter on the coronal view you can see it vaguely this area uh, show you a better picture this area is more brighter on t2 compared to the normal pituitary region so i wonder if there is a lesion there or not if if it is it could be a pituitary macroanoma or it could be a meningioma, but it's uh, probably not causing any symptom. But it's just worthwhile doing a CT to, to evaluate the skull base and then, by the way, evaluate the lipoma, and then we can follow it in the future. Uh, so we just incidentally see that uh, lesion. Uh, and everything else is fine. There's no uh, other tumor, no stroke no vascular malformation.